Today we're going to talk about all the ways to customize your phone with widgets and more. It's going to be a great video because we're going to show you how to set your phone up so it reflects what you want. The iPhone has been really locked down for so long and you haven't been able to do things like this for a very long time. But with iOS 14, now you are able to go through and do all of that. If you haven't updated yet, you're going to want to to be able to access the widget part of this video. So I'll put a link up top if you need to take a look at that. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button and I'll stop bugging you. <laughs> Just kidding, you know I'll be back next time. <laughs> with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in and show you exactly how we can go ahead and get this all set up. So we are on this screen and these are the two that I currently recommend. Color Widgets has one really good widget and then Widget Smith has a lot of different widgets that are good. I like the color one though because I like the one thing it does really well and I'm going to show you that as we go. So let's go ahead and start with the color one and tap on that. So when we get there you can see exactly what's going on here. It's We'll say the one that I have right now which is the white on orange. That's what I use in the thumbnail on the right side. So that's the one I really like and that's the one I'll probably keep from what I've seen so far. There are some other ones that are locked and if they're locked that means you have to pay for them. So just know that. But there are some really nice ones that are not locked. And I'm just going to scroll through some of these. So I use this widget just for this one. Just for the top. It gives you battery power, time, date, and day of the week with a cool background and you can choose some cool ones here there's also a Halloween one I tried that one and I thought about sticking with it but I think I'm gonna wait another two weeks for that get a little closer to Halloween and there's the other one I used for the other side of the thumbnail and you just want to go through and find one you like so for me again I like this one so I tapped on it and I chose edit widget and here you could edit a bunch of stuff. You could edit the background, which I like the color it is. Uh, you could change the color though if you want to invert it, tur turn it dark. We're going to keep it light. Uh, you could change the font. I do like the more font like this. It stands out a little more. But you can mess around and change your Monday font there. That one's not too bad either. I kind of like it lower and wider. So that's one I'll keep. With this you have three choices. You have a small widget, a medium, and a large. So the large is kind of cut off and the short is kind of cut off. So I would say go with the medium. I think that one's perfect. You can also put a background photo on here. We're not going to do that here, but I will show you how to set up a photo on the other application then too. Some things are paid for in this app, but you will be able to get this widget and that's pretty much the only one I use it for. So now we got it set. We can go out of the widget and we're here. To activate widgets, we just press and hold down on the screen anywhere until this starts happening. Then we're going to go ahead and hit plus on the top left. And you're going to see it right there, the colored widget. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to scroll over to the one we want. I want the medium one. And I'm going to choose add widget. And then when I'm done, I just swipe up. And now I have that there. And that will stay active and keep up to date with everything. I'm going to pull down just to show you battery power is at 44%, so that is good. Sometimes the battery power will be like 2% off, but that's about it. My phone nowadays is losing battery a lot faster, so uh, hopefully we get a new one soon. So next we're going to go to Widgetsmith. That's where the other stuff is. We'll go ahead and tap on there. And you can choose small, medium, or large. I started with a small one, and I chose this, but if we tap... I'll show you exactly how to customize everything. You can choose everything here in style, what you want it to say. So for example, say we just wanted uh, the date to say 921. We'll select that. We can go ahead and choose font on the bottom and we can make it say it however we want and kind of get it more relaxed. And then we can go ahead and hit tint color and we can change that from orange if you like green. I know I'm a pretty bright guy, so. And then we can go ahead and choose background, and then they give you backgrounds to choose. You can choose any of those. 
so I don't know about green on green. Green on hot pink is a little crazy. And then you could do border colors too. Maybe the same color. Let's try that. And then once we have it selected, we're going to click on the top left to go back out. And then we're going to go and hit save. So that's one. So let's go down here to the medium widget. And you can go ahead and select it. You can also put custom text on it if you'd like. Or you could put the person's name or hello or an inspirational quote. I'm just going to leave it as a picture because I kind of like that picture of him. And that's my son, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> He's in a lot of these videos. So you also have some other options down here. But when you get into these kind of things, you are looking at paid, anything locked. A lot of these places don't let you unlock it one time. It's more like a $2 a month subscription so they keep you kind of stuck in there so that's how you do that and then when you go to selected photo it'll show you here you just hit choose photo and then you pick the photo you want and that'll put it in the other spot and then I'll go back here I tapped to rename it hoping it would rename on the screen but unfortunately it did not that is still not an option but if we save it here we can go back out and now we're going to go ahead and add it in here. So we're going to tap and hold on the screen We're going to hit plus again. With this, we're going to choose widget Smith and we're going to choose the medium. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead and swipe up Now we're going to tap and hold on the widget Smith and we're going to choose edit widget. We're going to choose medium too, and we're going to change it to the high and then just tap off of it. And there he is. And unfortunately underneath it, it does say Widget Smith. That's the part that you can't change yet, but I'm sure in the future you'll be able to. And we also added a small one, so let's tap and hold again. We'll hit plus and we'll choose the small. And we will swipe up. So now we have the date, which we also have in the other one, but this is just kind of like another comparison and you have everything set up. If you want to move it, just tap and hold, edit home screen, and then just move things where you want them. So I like to have my time and date at the top and battery power so I can see it right away. So this would be kind of a good way to have it. So that's how to customize all the widgets on your home screen. Now you may also want to customize your apps and you can do that with app covers. It's not the greatest way to do it you will have custom pictures and you can customize the wording, but I will let you know there is a delay because anytime you click it, it has to open another application before it does open that application. So you are looking at a cool picture, but you're going to add about two, three seconds every time you tap on that app from now on, anytime you want to open it up. If that sounds good, I would definitely go with it. I have a video that shows you exactly how to do it. I'll put it right here at the end of this video. I hope this helped with everything. These video, these apps are completely free, but if you unlock the premium services, there is a cost. Thank you so much for the view.